All right, welcome to another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I'm Jason Dackman, Chief Editor at SVG, and I'm joined by Brandon Baker of Sencor. He's Strategic Account Manager for those guys. Brandon, thanks so much for taking the time. Where are you calling us from today? Uh, good morning. I'm uh, just outside Denver this morning. Very cool. Excellent. So uh, wanted to talk about how busy you guys have been over the last year. Uh, obviously, there have been uh, huge challenges across the industry. Um, but you guys as a vendor, uh, it's your job to, to try to help your customers navigate those challenges, right? So I, I'm curious, as people have shifted to more remote and decentralized operations, how has Sencor reacted and, and tried to help everyone out to make sure that uh, the lights are stay on and the content keeps coming out? Uh, yeah, great question. And, and first of all, we are celebrating our 70th year in business this year. Uh, so we're very excited about that. But uh, while we are celebrating the past, we are very much moving full steam into the future. And uh, the way that we are doing that is making sure that every single possible format is supported both through remote production or in the production facility itself. And so we continue to add everything we possibly can, whether it's Tico or um, JPEG 2000 or XS, um, been supporting obviously AGBC for a while, um, supporting every possible turnaround that we can, uh, whether it is coming in from the field or elsewhere. Um, and then also adding all of the new internet protocols as well. So RIST, Zixi, SRT, RTMP, really anything with an acronym, uh, we are adding that. Um, so kind of our philosophy right now is if you're using it, we'd likely support it one way or another. Right. Okay, cool. So the flexibility is there as everybody's starting to explore all these new codecs and formats. Yeah, you guys are there. So from a product standpoint, um, you know, what's new for Sencor in terms of actual tools that are out there? What's been popular and uh, in any new releases? Yeah, so we just launched a new single channel encoder and a single channel decoder um, for those remote production type of environments. So you need to get a feed in from the field quickly, efficiently, reliably. Um, our new SCP-2100 will do that. It'll grab pretty much anything out in the field, whether it's SDI, ASI, HDMI, ABSB, IP, and then wrap that in the Zixi wrapper, the SRT wrapper, whatever you need. Send that back to the hub, and then we just launched a new single channel decoder, which will grab that content, turn it back around to SDI, HDMI, um, Whatever, whatever format you need in your production facility. Um, we also continue to, to add those newer formats to some more highly dense existing platforms that have been um, available for a while. Most notably is the DMG 4000. So kind of our head in in a box. Um, it, it will handle an immense amount of channels, extremely low latency. Um, really that device will turn around basically anything, pretty much any number of channels that you, that you need. Very cool. So can you give us any kind of real world example uh, that's out there in the media and entertainment sector of using that product? Absolutely. So one of the big four broadcasters uh, currently is using that device kind of as their backbone to their new 100 gig WAN rollout nationwide. And so um, some of the biggest sporting events in the world will be flowing through our devices. And so we're, we're, we're really excited about this. Um, and providing UHD content to any of their affiliates that request it. And so a huge project, and, and they're not the only ones. There are other um, major sports broadcasters that I obviously cannot mention due to confidentiality reasons. Right. Uh, they're deploying, currently deploying this uh, device as well. So DMG 4000 just really continues to push the envelope in terms of um, what that can do um, for our customers. Very cool. And as we head down the UHD path, I'm sure that that momentum will, will continue to accelerate. And uh, and congratulations to the entire team on 70 years. Well done, guys. Very very. Cool. Yeah, I mean we we were, you know, we were kind of born into the monitoring environment uh, back in the day. And I I do want to mention real quick that you know monitoring is still a huge focus for us. So we uh, launched a new uncompressed 2110 analyzer last year. That's doing very very well in all of the new 2110 facilities nationwide. And we also just launched a new 50 gigabit per second transport stream monitoring probe as well. So, you know, we're, we're, we're not slowing down with our monitoring lineup either. 
Very cool. Well, you guys, from a monitoring perspective, from a compression and encoding perspective, I'm sure are going to be extremely busy uh, over the next 12 months. And hopefully it's a, a bit of a brighter 12 months, but, but it's great that you guys have been there for your customers over the last, uh, last year or so. Uh, Brandon, really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much and uh, stay safe out there, all right? Yeah, you too. Appreciate it very much.